Have you ever heard of the term con man or confidence man? I'm actually with the city of Toronto. If you haven't, don't worry, I'm gonna explain it. But if you have, this video currently tracing your IP address, I'm gonna find your address, give it to the police because you're a criminal, you should put it in jail. I'm just kidding. A con man is basically someone who cheats or tricks people by gaining their trust and persuading them to believe things that aren't true. Have you ever seen that one movie, Catch Me If You Can, when Leonardo DiCaprio becomes a pilot, an FBI agent, even a doctor without actually going to school or studying to become these things? Yeah, that's a con man. And today, I'm gonna become a con man. So the plan was simple, I had three challenges. The first challenge was to go into a store, walk out with a piece of clothing without paying for it and without stealing it. The second challenge was to go door to door and have someone invite me in their house without asking to go inside and without forcing my way in, obviously. And the third challenge was the biggest one of them all. I had to con my way into a hockey game happening at the Scotiabank Arena without paying for a ticket. So for the first challenge, I knew what I had to do. First off, I had to get a fake ID badge printed. This is me actually at Staples doing it. The second part was I had to dress the part. I had to look professional. And it was time to go. Like, this was it. I had no other option. I had to do it. Excuse me. Uh, Hi. Um, do you have a quick minute? Yeah. My name is Peter. I'm actually what they call an undercover shopper. I was sent here by corporate to do a quick survey for the employees only. You have like two, maybe three questions just to answer. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Can I put you somewhere else, like a little in yeah. the corner or something? Yeah. 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 This works. Great. My job here basically was for the past couple of weeks was to see employ our customer experience, what they feel like, if people are treating them well, etc., etc. You guys pass, no worries about that. No problem. Now it's just about employees. If you had to guess if there was anyone here that seemed a little disgruntled, um, maybe pissed off about something or a manager or something, is everyone pretty much happy? All the employees here? All the employees here are pretty much happy. I'm responsible for the GTA. So here in Mississauga, Oakville, etc. And some of the problems we've been having is a high return rate. It's increased 3%. And in Q4, it's looked like it's gone to 7%. Over here, it's dangerous with returns. So, returns as you open the store, you get returns. So I asked that because um, this was actually kept really like low key. In the Aaron Mills store, um, there was actually a disgruntled employee. And um, you know YouTube, right? Yeah. Like those prankster kids and all that crap. They recorded it. So what happened was this one employee started spraying this fart spray uh, uh, on the, the shoes floor. and on the clothes. So it's had a sound. So when they went home, they're like, yo, this smells like crap. Yeah, so they come and return it. Back. Yeah. So we've actually been taking samples from each store to see what's going on. And we take it back all the way to ship it all the way to Sweden to the home office. Yeah. And they test it just in case. But like between you and me, I don't think it's happening. But no. I'm, ob I'm obligated but to, just do it. to do it. Yeah. yeah. And um, Cause so that's like, that's like oh, I'm the one at Foot Locker. That's what they're doing. The Foot yeah, Locker. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. And and, obviously and just like that, I did it, man. And the more I kept talking, the more I actually believed I worked for that story. It was crazy. Anyway, we kept talking. I kept telling her stories. She kept telling me stories. She was actually really nice. I ended up having to pull trigger and finally get what I came here for. I'm glad I chose you. No. I picked the right person. I'm glad I even took the time to stand with Darkie. Yeah, thank no, you so much. No, I won't take up any of your time. No, thank, um, thank, so thank you. So now I just need to go to the return and take the quick sample. If it's of a okay. shoe or a pants, anything. So they'll be at the cash point. Let's go. Okay, perfect. This is, this is not an in-store though. This is an online return. That's, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. it doesn't matter. Here thank you go. so much. You're very welcome. And can I just get your last thing? Easy to remember. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for your time. Have a great day, thank You're you. awesome. Have, Have a great day. Time. So with that, the first phase was completed successfully. I can't believe I did it. But it wasn't time to celebrate. We had to get ready for the second phase, and this one was actually scary. Oh, here we go. Oh, they got a package. I mean, you could just tell how nervous I was because of how much I was biting my nails. Anyways, I'm gonna speed this up because we went to a couple of houses before we actually finally found someone to answer the door. Hi. Hi. Um, before you get worried, I'm not selling anything. I'm actually with the city of Toronto. My name is Peter. Um, so from all the way here, all the way to Victor, we've had complaints of people not having hot water. Oh. So uh, have you experienced anything like that? Is your heater okay? Sure. Water's warm. warm? Okay. And you haven't experienced any interruptions the past week or two? No. no. Okay. Just today or just week? No, it's been for two weeks because um, between we knew it was an accident on our end. So um, what happened was we had these drilling, we were drilling down on Stanley, towards Stanley. Mm -hmm. And for some reason it affected all the way from Burlington past Victor. So I have to go another two blocks. Oh, geez. Yeah, so weird. everyone's water heater just got like, it just doesn't work. Oh. Yeah. Do you mind if
You just take a video of your <laughs> of our hot water. <laughs> of no, of your uh, the boiler. Oh, sure. Yeah. Do you want to come in? If that's okay. Don't mind the the. Sure. Decluttering. Hello. <laughs> it actually worked. You know, I was so worried that they would call the cops on me, or they'd figure out I was lying and they wouldn't let me leave their house. But it actually worked. And here's proof of me actually inside their house, so you know this isn't bullshit. Well, there you have it, man. Challenge two completed. That's two for two. Now it's time to get to the biggest one of all. I had to con my way into a hockey game at the Scotiabank Arena with tons of security and tons of police. Yo, I'm nervous. Like, you know, in, in your mind, you're like, yeah, I could do this shit. And I just did the two tasks. So this is the third one, bro. We got to hit the trifecta. But like, this is literally like there's cops here everywhere. Like there's police surrounding the building. FBI open up type shit. Fuck it. We're just going to go in. Little practice run. Hi, my name is Peter on Media. I'll show him this bunk ass badge. I just made, this looks like a goddamn mug shot, bro. Hey, man. Do you know where the media entrance is? I'm so late. Oh, you have to go to the staff entrance? Yeah. Hi, sorry. Oh, it's all good. They told me this is the media entrance, right? Yeah. yeah. Come on in. Thank you so much. I know I'm, I'm so late, here. man. No, I'm, uh, I'm here with Six Plus. What's your name? Peter. Peter, you have credentials, Peter? Uh, I only have this. It's pretty standard. No, you have you have credentials for this event. Adam told me to come in here and say Josh gave us permission. No, no, it doesn't work like that. With you, you gotta call him or tell him to come and get you here. Like I can't. You know what I mean? No, of course. If you don't have credentials or whatever. So right off the bat, it wasn't looking good. They said I needed credentials. My fake ID badge didn't work. But luckily, I was prepared for this moment. I had a guy in the chair. This is my friend Philip. Most of you might have seen him in my other videos, but I told him. That I'm gonna fake call him and pretend like he's my manager and to try and convince the security guard that we had previous permission from a guy named Josh to let us come and film here. Yeah, so this is Adam. Uh, he's the contact who sent me from Six Plus. Okay. If you wanna talk to him. Tony, you can talk to him. One thing you gotta do is like, get the person that's coming here. If the person told you to come, they have to bring your credential here so you can go past. We have to get email confirmation. If Josh has an email and you have the MLSC logo and he and works good. here, then it's whatever. So it still wasn't working, but he said I needed email confirmation. So I called my boy Philip and I told him, I'm like, send me an email with the official MLSC logos and tell them that I have permission to come in here. So we concocted this bullshit email, which is right here. And I said, fuck it, let's give it a shot. Okay, we got an email sent. I'm gonna try again. I got the email. So he forwarded it to my email. I'm Peter. So we make concern, we give. What does it look like this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Figure it out. Yeah. Yo, it actually worked. I know I keep saying actually, but I'm just so surprised that I was able to get in based off of a fake email and just had some camera gear on me. Holy fuck, I actually made it, boys. Oh my god, I actually fucking made it inside. And this was my first hockey game ever, which was sick because I didn't pay for it. But it was pretty cool. They had Nav, the rapper Nav was there. And I think this guy was like the owner of a team. That's why everyone was taking pictures of him. I don't know. But they even set me up beside the like professional media guys with their big ass cameras that they'd use to broadcast the game. All in all, man, three for three. I never expected to complete all three phases of this challenge, but we did it. Bro, it actually fucking worked. I actually can't believe this. And I still can't believe I was able to complete all three without failing, not even once. As much as I don't condone cheating and lying to get what you want, I think there's a positive that can be taken away from this. My whole life I struggled with confidence. Confidence in the way I looked, confidence in the way I sounded, confidence in the way I walked. But this video made me realize that with enough confidence, man, you could literally do whatever you want. And I know, I know, it's easier said than done, but why not just try? Anyways, I think my days as a con man are over. As fun as it was, you're technically breaking the law. And who wants to be known as a criminal, right?